Hello and welcome back to Time Out Quick Guides. Today we're going to be looking at Abu Dhabi's amazing island. But before we get started, make sure you leave a comment below, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and you could be in a chance of winning a staycation. Surrounded by the stunning Arabian Gulf, one of the best things about living in Abu Dhabi is all the beautiful islands. But while Yaz Island and Sadia are some of the most popular in the capital, there are also plenty of other smaller pockets of land that you just need to discover for yourself. So whether you're looking to party, sunbathe, play sports, or even spot a few wild dolphins, these beautiful destinations are totally unmissable. First up today is Al Hudria Island. Since opening in 2018, this activity packed island has become a popular weekend hotspot. Spanning a massive 3,000 acres, the 600 meter long beach is a perfect place for a spot of sunbathing. The beds and umbrellas are free to use, and you can also fit in a few lengths before you hit one of the food trucks and grab a bite to eat. As well as the pristine beach, there's also plenty for fitness fanatics to do. You can hire a bike and go for a cycle around the track or play a game of football, basketball, volleyball or tennis. Next up is Almaya Island. And this is a very popular destination for people who are looking to have a party. Almaya Island is about 10 minutes offshore, but you need to get a boat to get there, obviously. This fun-filled island is perfect for both partying and relaxing. You'll always find it filled with fun-loving guests who are enjoying the huge pool and beach. There's even a small beach volleyball section if you fancy a game with a friend, and you can even hire jet skis if you fancy getting out on the water. The Maya Grill and Restaurant also serves very high quality food, including sandwiches, salads, and even more. And of course, there's even some private villas available to rent as well, if that's your type of thing. The Saturday day pass will set you back 100 dirhams and it includes the shuttle boat service and the use of all the facilities, which is not a bad deal. And next up on our list today is Dolphin Island. So this is one for the animal lovers. Abu Dhabi's dolphins are often spotted swimming around Sadia Island and the Easter Mangroves, but you can also spot them at Dolphin Island. The boat tours with Captain Tony's include three hours of snorkeling, swimming, and looking for dolphins. Even if you're not lucky enough to spot any of these amazing creatures, you'll still have a brilliant day out. There's also an amazing beach to enjoy and tours start from 400 dirhams per person. Next up is Moon Island. And this island was previously called Happiness Island and the resort provides a great place for tunes, some laid back atmosphere, and has a really friendly crowd as well. And it's just a 10 minute boat ride from downtown Abu Dhabi, so you can head here for the day for a bit of sunbathing, some chilling out, or just catching up with a book and some R&R. &R. The beach boasts views of the Abu Dhabi skyline, and it's the kind of setting which is guaranteed to make your Instagram followers green with envy as the sun sets over the city. You can also rent out villas for reasonable rates if you don't feel like heading back to the city at the end of the night. I think all of us might want to stay over there for a day. And while the food options include hearty burgers and homemade pizzas, there's other options for you to get tucked into as well. Next up on our list today is Sir Bani Yas Island. Yes, this island really has to be seen to be believed. It's a sprawling man-made wildlife reserve which was founded back in the late 1990s. Once a sparse, dry plain, it is now home to thousands of animals such as giraffes, oryx, cheetahs and much more. Here you can try water sports, go hiking, mountain biking, or of course, go out on a safari and see all the amazing animals. There's also a few very fancy hotels on the island too, so if you fancy making a whole weekend of it, you can always stay overnight. There are various ways of getting to the island, including taking a seaplane from Yas Island. And finally, Zion Uri Island. And a visit to this amazing island should be on anyone in Abu Dhabi's bucket list. With soft white sands and bright blue waters, this exclusive resort feels worlds away from the busy downtown Abu Dhabi. You can get here by taking a very short 12 minute boat ride from Sadia Island and spend your time taking some amazing pictures at those swings over the sea that we've all been very jealous of on Instagram. There's also loads of great restaurants and places to eat as well. There's like the restaurant Hooked, which was recently reviewed in Time Out Abu Dhabi, and a bunch of other places you can go to as well. If you really want to splash out, you can spend a night in your own beachside villa, which comes complete with its own private infinity pool, not bad, and a once in a lifetime experience that you will never forget. And that's all from us today with Abu Dhabi's amazing islands. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave your comment below. We'll see you next time.